Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network, and I'd like to share with you today his reflections for this second Sunday of Lent. Last Sunday, the liturgy presented Jesus tempted by Satan in the desert, but victorious over temptation. In the light of this gospel, we are again made aware of our condition as sinners, but also of the victory over evil for those who undertake the journey of conversion and, like Jesus, want to do the Father's will. In this second Sunday of Lent, the Church points out to us the end of this journey of conversion, namely, participation in the glory of Christ, which shines on the face of the obedient servant. His full adherence to God's will renders his humanity transparent to the glory of God, who is love. Beside him appear Moses and Elijah. They represent the law and the prophets. Their instruction for the disciples and for us is this, listen to him. Listen to Jesus. He is the Savior. Follow him. The path to Jesus always leads us to happiness. Don't forget it. There will always be a cross, trials in the middle, but at the end, we are always led to happiness. Jesus does not deceive us. He promised us happiness and he will give it to us if we follow his ways. With Peter, James, and John, we too climb the mountain of the Transfiguration today and stop in contemplation of the face of Jesus to retrieve the message and translate it into our lives. For we too can be transfigured by love. In reality, love is capable of transfiguring everything. Love transfigures all.